Hello good people. Now today we're going to revisit one of my earlier videos which was about running PyHole on Docker. Now since we've had a couple of Linux versions between now and then we're going to go ahead and look at the 19.08 release of Ubuntu and we're going to run it on that. Now since Ubuntu has some characteristics that will prevent us from running it directly aka there will be a few errors if we don't change some of the settings we're going to go ahead and do that now. So we're going to use the system CTL and we're going to disable the system D resolve. Now once that's disabled we're going to go ahead and use the similar command which is the system CTL uh, stop command and then stop the system D dash resolved. Now that's all a bit of a mouthful, so you have to bear with me if that wasn't already boring enough. Um, after that we're going to do something a little bit easier to say, which is we're going to go ahead into the uh, network manager and change the settings to uh, DNS default. So we're just going to nano into the exet uh, network manager, network manager conf, under main we're going to go uh, DNS and add default. Now that was way easier to say. We're just going to save that file and exit. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the symbolic link by deleting the uh, resolve.conf file, which is a straightforward deletion. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the system uh, CTL again and just restart the net manager. Now for those of you who are paying attention, into the top right you'll see that my network uh, indication will suddenly drop to disconnected um, and it won't come back and I've tried this a couple of times, uh, restarting it a few times, sometimes it comes back, sometimes it doesn't, but after a restart of the Linux it always comes back. So I think this is kind of a bug in the GUI, um, but doesn't stop the machine from running normally. Now next I'm going to go ahead and install curl. The reason I'm going to do that is because I'm going to use curl in the very next command. This isn't the only way to install docker but it's my personal preferred way which is to basically download the docker install uh, sh. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that using the fs SL and then the URL which is the HTTPS uh, get docker.com and dash O to download the file and in this case it's the get hyphen docker dot sh so that shell script is just going to be downloaded then I'm going to run the shell script using the sh get uh, docker well sorry get hyphen docker dot sh and what I'll do is go ahead and install all the repositories, set all the settings, everything that basically is required for the Docker installation. And this is kind of a straightforward way of doing it because it's already been done by the Docker engineers. I don't need to go ahead and add repositories, I don't need to mess around. I can just kind of rely on them and say, it's your expertise, it's your area, you do that for me, I'm happy to just run the script, thank you which for some of us, including myself, is a way, way easier way than messing around. Now, at the end of it, we can see that our latest Docker version has been installed. In this case, it's 19.03.3 community. Next up, we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna start running Docker, or first of all, we're gonna go get our uh, Docker image. So we're gonna do a Docker pull and we're gonna put pi hole uh, dash sorry slash uh, pi hole. I'm not going to bother with latest. I don't need to because it's basically implied if you don't put any tag version numbers. So why give myself the extra typing work? Uh, that's going to go ahead and download it. And after it's downloaded, we're going to run. Now I'm going to cheat here and say, you know what? I'm not going to do any customization. I'm just going to run the Docker image with the name PyHole. I'm going to expose port 53, and I'm going to expose port uh, UDP 53. I'm going to expose port 80 and port uh, 443. Basically all the SSH. Now the only thing that's really worth noting here is the V, which is the volumes. Uh, that's worth noting because we're going to need to be able to get the password at some point. So anyway, we're just going to go ahead and um, run that. We should be able to now check and see if our Docker image is running. If we just do a 
docker check on that and we see okay here we see status is starting so if we use the watch command we're just going to check until that's healthy just to confirm that it's up and running because we can't really get the password if the container hasn't finished starting yet so we're just going to wait a couple of seconds here and once it says healthy we're going to come back and we're going to echo out the command so now we see okay it's healthy and what we're going to do is we're going to echo out the logs from the pihole instance and we're going to grep around the password uh, we need this obviously because otherwise we won't be able to log in so just going to echo it out you can see here and again i will be putting the script in the comments below so don't worry if you can't follow along so now we have the password, we're able to go log into Firefox and from Firefox we should be able to basically log into the admin page. So in this case, since we haven't specified anything specific or different, we are just going to mention that it's localhost and admin. Then we can see that takes us to our page, we can log in, we can put our password in, all is dandy so far. We're going to do the typical things that you should do after you've installed Pi-hole. And again, because we put the volume mounted, um, we're able to save any changes we made to those volumes in case we need to restart the image. And we've updated uh, PyHole in order to make sure that we've got the latest definitions. Now there is one other thing I would recommend you doing, and it really depends a little bit on your setup. If you intend to use PyHole also on the host, then I would suggest you go customize the host and put your DNS server as to the local host. This will allow you to then use uh, PyHole for the lookup locally, not just on the network.